Today, Akili rested. She spent her day lying on the ground, looking up at all the pretty clouds in the sky. She saw clouds that looked like elephants, clouds that looked like trees, clouds that looked like monkeys, and clouds that looked like big fluffy birds. Now it's time for Akili to go to bed. Good night, Akili. Wow! Akili is in La La Land, high up in the sky on a big fluffy cloud. And all her friends are here too. They are so high up in the sky. From here, they can see all of La La Land. Let's jump. The cloud is so bouncy. What a great thing to jump on. <laughs> Jumping on a cloud makes you really tired. Why don't you lie down on the cloud and talk about what you want to do today? So, what do you want to do? Read! Run! Hmm, so they want to run and read. But that's so hard to do when you're so high up in the sky. It's time for them to get back to the ground. But how can they get down? Birds? Happy Hippo can hear the birds. Can you hear them? Yes! Birds! Birds! Happy Hippo has an idea. What if the birds can help them to get down? Hello! I'm Happy Hippo! Sometimes you need help, and sometimes you help others. It feels good to help others. Help! Aha! Uh -huh. Help! Help! The birds don't seem to understand what they are asking for. I think they forgot to use the magic word. Do you remember what that word is? Aha! Uh -huh. Please help! When I need something, I say please Help me please, 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 please I say please, 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 please Help me please, 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 please Please help! Oh wow! It's working! They've asked politely, and now the birds are happy to help. The birds are getting ready to land, but they are not on the ground yet. They've dropped them off on a tree. It looks like somebody lives here. Uh-oh. They've landed on Monkey's house. He does not seem happy about it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Akili. It seems Monkey doesn't like getting unexpected visitors. How can Akili apologize to Monkey? Sorry? Sorry is what you say when you want to apologize to someone. When you wrong someone, you should say sorry. <laughs> And 
her friends used their polite words to apologize. And now, Monkey is happy. But they're not down on the ground yet. Please help! Maybe Monkey can help them get back to the ground. Yes, yes, I love to help! Now what's wrong? Monkey's not happy. He looks angry. Is there something they should say now that Monkey has helped them? Do you know what that word is? Thank you! <laughs> thank you? You say thank you when someone has done something nice for you. Monkey is now happy again. He just wanted to hear thank you. is calling you, Akili. That means it's time for you to find the rainbow and go home. Do you see the rainbow? Yes! Rainbow! Let's go! Look! Hello! Oh, thank you! Well done, Akili. You forgot to say thank you before. The birds seem much happier now. So, what do you say when you are asking for something? Um... Please! Aha! Uh -huh. Please! Good job! Now it's time for the last challenge. What do you say when you want to apologize? Sorry! Sorry! Great job! You have said all the words and the cloud has disappeared. Now you can go home to your mother. Akili is back in her house. She wakes up and runs outside to look at the clouds. She sees a monkey in the tree. She sees birds in the sky. And she remembers all that she saw in La La Land. But tonight, when she goes to bed, a whole new adventure awaits. <laughs> hey there, friends. What time is it? It's time for the alphabet. A is for Achilles. One is E. E is for elephant. Look at all the elephants. F is 
Drawing is one of Bush Baby's favourite things to do. Mama. Bush Baby wants to draw. He wants to draw a door. A special door. Worry, Bush Baby. To draw a door, you start with a rectangle. Do you know what a rectangle is, Bush Baby? That's a good start, Bush Baby. Hmm, let me help you. Great job, Bush Baby. Now that is a rectangle. Can you say the word rectangle? Rectangle! Mm. Wow, 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 wow. That's right. We are drawing a rectangle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there is more to a door than this, right? Can you draw more rectangles inside the big rectangle? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yes, Bush Baby. Well done. Just draw three more. Great work, Bush Baby. The door is just missing a handle so we can open it. What a beautiful door, Bush Baby. Can you pronounce the word door? Door! That's right. Would you like to colour your drawing? Bush Baby found a colour in his hat. Great! Use the colour to finish your drawing. Wow! What a special door, Bush Baby! Bush Baby, would you like to open this special door and see what's on the other side?
Hello there, kids. Today I'm going to read you a great story. Happy Hippo loves to read stories too. Today's story is... Find your rectangle. Mother Lion said to Sister Lion, Look after Little Lion and his friends and do your chores. Sister Lion had an idea. She could use a game to help get the chores done. I will give you clues to find things that are the shape of a rectangle like this door. A rectangle has four sides, two short sides, and two long sides. Little Lion, where do we put our food when we eat? Little Lion cleared the table with the help of his friends. This table's a rectangle, shouted Little Lion. Both Happy Hippo and Little Lion could fit on the long side of the table, but only Bush Baby could fit on the short side. The table is clean. One chore is done, said Sister Lion. Happy Hippo, can you find a rectangle that is made of glass? Happy Hippo looked around and shouted, This window is glass and a rectangle. Happy Hippo wiped the short side and Bush Baby the long side. Akili, can you find a rectangle that you can read from and write on? Akili picked up all the books and magazines and saw that they had two short sides and two long sides. She stacked them up and said, Look at all my rectangles! Sister Lion smiled and said, Yay! Now all my chores are done! Thanks for helping me! Now a clue for you, Sister Lion, said Akili. It can sing like a bird, you can talk into it, listen to it, and even write in it. There was a chirping sound coming from Sister Lion. She pulled out a mobile phone and said, Phone! And it's also a rectangle! The end. Did you enjoy that? Until next time, bye! <laughs> Happy hippo!